All right, so we are here at home, um, away from everybody else, and I'm going to try and teach a little bit of math. Um, so this is coronavirus day, I'm not sure. <laughs> so hopefully all everybody is feeling good, and you're staying healthy, and you're not too lonely at this point. So um, stick around. We're going to post uh, post as many videos as I can. Um, if you hear a dog barking, I'm at my sister's house, and the dog has decided that he wants to bark. So... There, he, he barked on cue just for us. Okay, so um, double angle identities. We know that we have, um, we have this angle, bef this formula before was sine, cosine, um, and then it was the same S-I-G-N. So if it's a plus or minus, then it's um, cosine, sine. Well, so if I want to get the double angle identity, what I can do here is I can say that sine of 2a would be like saying sine of a plus a, right? 2a is just a plus a. So now this becomes sine a cosine a plus the same S-I-G-N, cosine a sine a. And you'll notice these are the exact same, they're written in a different order, but they're the exact same thing. And so this is equal to 2 sine of a cosine of a. So this is sine of 2a is equal to 2 sine a cosine a. That's the first of the double angle identities. Um, a quick refresher, we know that cosine of a plus b, um, plus or minus b is equal to, this one's the cosine, cosine, um, and then it's the opposite S-I-G-N, sine, sine. And so if I want to, to figure out what cosine of 2A is equal to, this is cosine of A plus another A. So everywhere right now my B's become A's. So this becomes cosine A, cosine A, minus the opposite S-I-G-N, sine A, sine A. Well, notice cosine times cosine is cosine squared. Sine times sine is sine squared. So this gets us here. Now, keep in mind, this is not the first video on trig that you've done. So hopefully you're, you're up to speed with me. You understand how we write our notation. You understand where these identities come from. Um, you understand the ones leading up to it. This is not meant to be a standalone video. Okay, so here's the first one. Cosine of 2a is equal to this. Well, what we're going to find, cosine squared minus sine squared, um, is we know from the Big Daddy, or the Pythagorean identity, that cosine squared is also 1 minus uh, sine. My bad, I started to write the wrong thing. Sine squared minus another sine squared. Well, this is a, this part right here became that part right there. Um, and so there are now 2, 1 minus 2 of these sine squared theta. So this is another version of that exact same identity. The third one that we can work with, we know that, um, well, I don't need to write that. We know that this cosine squared is still cosine squared a, minus sine squared, so minus, well sine squared is one minus cosine squared. Okay, so this distributes through, giving me um, one cosine squared and another positive cosine squared, so this is two cosine squared a minus one. So that's cosine of 2a. So what happens here with the cosine double angles is that we have three different versions. And so depending on which, depending on what we're given, we might pick one over the other. So they all work beautifully. It just depends on what you need to do. The tangent, remember tangent of a plus b or a is tangent, same S-I-G-N over one opposite S-I-G-N. Okay, so then if I have tangent of 2a, of course, that's just like we did before. That's a plus a. So this is tangent of a plus tangent of a. One that. Okay, which this, if I have a tangent of a and I add another tangent, that's equal to 2 tangent of a. And this is 1 minus tangent squared of a. So our formula here for tangent of 2a, this is our tangent double angle formula, is right here. Okay, so what we might do is they might tell us, um, well, they might ask us to do a proof. They might say verify, and I looked one up just so that I could do it on the fly. They might say to verify 1 minus cosine of 2x 
over to sine x is equal to sine of x. So this is a little trig identity and a new little proof. Okay, so if I'm asked to verify this, what I would do is I would think of, okay, well, what are my cosine double angle formulas? And I want to pick the one that's got, and uh, I'm trying to get to it in terms of sine. So remember, this one, I've got three choices. Well, my inclination would be to pick the choice that has sine. So what I have here is that this is equal to 1 minus, well, what's it equal to? 1 minus 2 sine squared a. 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Oop, I lied. That should have been an x. My bad. Since that's an x, this should be an x. Sorry, sorry. Over 2 sine x. That's an x. I'm so sorry. Okay, well, now distribute that negative. 1 minus 1 plus 2 sine squared x over 2 sine x. Well, 1 minus 1, that's 0. It's gone. 2 sine squared divided by... So maybe I should... <coughs> Excuse me. I left the country and got a little bit of a cough. Don't tell. I don't think it's corona. We're, we're good. So notice the twos will cancel, the sign on top and the sign on bottom cancel, and we're left with sine of x is equal to sine of x. And that's one type of thing that they might do, is they might ask us to verify an identity. Um, the other thing they might do is they might say, by they I mean me, they might say let um, sine of u equal, I'm making something up, let's make it, relatively nice. Um, a negative 5 thirteenths when um, 3 pi over 2 is less than u is less than 2 pi. Okay, um, so and then, then they'll say find, well let's do, let's, let's do all three. Sine of 2u, cosine of 2u, and tangent of 2u. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is this puts me in which in quadrant four. I was about to ask you, but you can't answer me, so there we go. Um, and so I'm going to come along and draw that. That I don't really care about the size of my angle, but I know that this is going to require me to be in quadrant four. We've done problems like this before. So this is negative, so um, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Keep in mind, if we keep the hypotenuse always positive, then everything else will work out. This is a 5, 12, 13 triangle. That's in the positive x direction, so it's a positive. So what I like to do off to the side is say sine of u is equal to negative 5 thirteenths. Cosine of u is equal to 12 thirteenths. And tangent of u is equal to opposite over, so negative 5 twelfths. Okay, and then I've got this. This is my scratch work that helps me be successful in the rest of it. So now, sine of 2u. Well, sine of 2u is equal to 2 sine u cosine u, which is equal to 2 times, well, what did we say sine of u was? Negative 5 over 13. What did we say cosine of u was? 12 over 13. Uh, what's that? 10 times 12 is 120. It's a negative 120. 13 squared I know to be 169. Okay, cosine of 2u. Cosine, I can, I have choices, remember? Here's my page again. I can pick 1, 2, or 3. I can pick anything that I want. What I might do is because they told me sine, I might use the formula that already has sine in it just in case I mess up somewhere. And so this is equal to um, 1 minus 2 sine squared u, which is 1 minus 2 times, well, sine, sine of u is negative 5 over 13, and that guy has to get squared. Okay, so this is 1 minus 2 times, well, 25 over 169. This becomes, well, I'm too lazy to go find a calculator. I didn't bring one home. That might be problematic later. Minus, this is 50 over 169. I don't think I have a calculator. Anyway, it, it is what it is. So I got 119 over 169. Hopefully my arithmetic is good. If not, I'm sure somebody will tell me. Um, okay, then tangent of 2u is equal to... Keep in mind, tangent's also sine divided by cosine. So I should get a negative 120 over 119, um, just knowing that I'm dividing this by this, and the denominators are the same. But let's practice with that formula. 2 tangent of u divided by 1 minus tangent squared u. So tangent of u was, so it's 2 times negative 5 twelfths over 1 minus negative 5 twelfths squared. Okay, um, this becomes, 
what is this? Well, that'll cancel. Negative 5 sixths is being divided by um, 144 over 144 is 1. Why did I pick that? Because I'm about to square this here. Um, minus, this square gets, this negative gets squared becomes positive, but we still have that one. So minus 25 over 144. This is equal to a negative 5 sixths divided by what's, um, guess who hasn't done math in a few days? 119? 119 over 144. Well, we multiply by the reciprocal. I'm running out of space. Negative 5 over 6 times 144 over 119. Um, does 6 go into that? Well, 12 does, 12 times. So 6 would go in here 24 times. Oh, look, 24 times 5 is um, 120. So this is a negative 120 over 119. And I, it wasn't worth getting another piece of paper. Um, and that's what I had said from, from back here. Uh, go, we're going to give you some problems to practice, but I just wanted to do one video on everything you needed for double angle. So I hope that was helpful.